What is going on guys, Tiswava here, and welcome back to some more Bug Snacks. Let's just jump right back into the game. Last time we left off, we finally went to the Sizzling Sands and took on the Moths of Supreme. There it is right there, can I hover it? There it is right there. It's got my mouse cursor on the loading screen for once. So if we took that guy on with Cromdo and actually fed him to Cromdo, and I, apparently I guess maybe he gave a little bit to Befica. I don't know, I, 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 I guess maybe not because I can't tell. Oh, jeez, it's still doing the weird frame rate thing when I load it. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Philbo. I forgot I made him like a giant chili pepper looking guy. It looks like his hair is on fire and stuff. He's <laughs> Someone said he looked like a devil or something crazy. <laughs> oh, well, this episode. Yeah, Wiggle. I, I need to do your thing this episode. Uh, apparently, You guys were saying that Wiggle, the next thing for Wiggle is another boss battle. So we definitely want to do that one. We have a lot of um, side quests we have to do, actually. Uh, we did all the interviews already. Oh, you know what? Because we never did anything for Shelda. Should we at least see what Shelda, like, like at least get started with Shelda's side quest? Because we never did anything for uh, Shelda, so that sucks. Uh, then Befica... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the Befica and Wiggle side quest, like, together. Because Befica wants us to go to beach for the Grumpy Snack Pods. And Wiggle wants us to go to the beach as well for her uh, boss battle. And then other than that, looks like that's it. So let's, let's start Shelda just so we can actually kind of... Get some progress with that going. And then uh, we'll do the Wiggle Boss battle after that. Then after the Wiggle Boss battle, we'll do the, uh, we'll get some grumpy snack pods on our way back. Well, let's talk to Shelda for right now, though. What's up, Shelda? You who continues to spread the toxin's dark influence are lost. What? But one will guide you to the true path. Behold, the box of purity. Those box snacks placed inside shall be purged by the light of Mother Nature. Make an offering to the box. Show that you are willing to walk this path. Oh, man. Yeah, that's something I wanted to do before I uh, recorded. I forgot to do it. I wanted to empty out my inventory of a bunch of stuff because I do want to do some myth busting here, but we do offer a bug snacks to the box. How do I do that? Oh, yeah, yeah, just click on it. Uh, Rainbow Sweetie Fly, that might be a really interesting one. Uh, we need to keep the Studler for, uh, for Egg. Oh, she's like alming in the background. I guess we'll do a Bombino, just because we have like four of those, so there you go. Boom, Bombino. Let's talk to Sheldon now that we've made an offering to the Bug Snacks box, and she's going to like release it or whatever, and uh, yeah. get rid of the toxin, I guess. Or whatever she'll do with it, I don't know, yeah. let's talk to her. Did she say um or yum? Yeah. Here's a nice day, isn't it? Yummy. Um, yum. <laughs> I made an offering to the box. A wise choice was made. So it is. The light that shines within darkness shines brightest over all. Meditate on this and return one day hence. All right, well, I guess we'll just continue. I guess this is like an alternative, like, donation box that Gramble has. Like, we can give it to Gramble and it'll end up in his ranch eventually. Give it to a Sheldon, she just releases it back to the wild, I suppose. So that's pretty good. We just kind of empty out our inventory that way. Can I do more? Uh... Oh, I can. Yeah. Okay, what else do we have here? We got two Mount Sodies. Do I want to... I've got a lot of Sodies here. Meaty Snack Bod, Melty. Yeah. Oh, I already have a Fruity... So oh, wait, hold on. Which one was it for the... No, the Grumpy Snack Bod. That's what uh, Befka wanted. Yeah. Hey, how's it going? You know what? Uh, we haven't used a... Uh... What was it called? The Bombino for anything? I guess we'll give it to Wambus. Hey there, Wambus. <laughs> Is there anything that we haven't given you? Uh, oh, horns, I think, right? Let's do a horn. <laughs> it's just a little, like, a uh, pizza pocket horn. Or, uh, a pizza... What, what was it called if it's a... Uh, pizza pocket would be, like, the hot pocket, right? I forgot what these little little thing. Pizza roll? A little, like, bomb bombino, like, Totino's pizza rolls. <laughs> oh, I'm not sponsored, by the way. Uh, what if we give him a Mount Sodi, though? Is that, and give it to a horn. Is that going to be a straw? Oh, it's like a little tab? Combo meal completed. I don't know if you guys see that achievement I just got right there. How did I pull that up again? I wanted to see how I got that achievement right there. Either way, he's got like a little pole tab ear. <laughs> That's funny, I like that. And I still can't, he's still got the thing on his head, but like, Adios, I don't know what it's for. Either way, uh, is there anything else that I have? Uh, I guess we can put some Bombinos over here. Hey, Gramble. There we go, just kind of empty out our inventory a little bit there. So there you go. Oh, speaking of Bombino, because the Bombino was a, uh, oh, let's go back there. It was a, uh, a minion for the Mothsa Supreme. I got so many comments from you guys saying, hey, 
If you go back to Flavor Falls, I believe it was, not uh, Garden Grove, which this one's going to be right here. If you go back to Flavor Falls, where we actually took on the Mama Melon boss battle like two, three episodes ago or whatever by now, there may still be, oh, jeez. There may still be little minion guys that I can still catch and, and still get the 100% for the uh, for Flavor Falls getting all the bug snacks over there. So let's go check up on that. See if there are any minions just kind of left behind that I can, any stragglers. Oh, and if there are. Do I have enough room to like catch them all though? Hmm. And if I do, if I am able to get a, I've got like, how many slots is that? Seven slots right there? That should be enough. Where was it? Oh yeah, I have to go up. Oh, Sandipede. Oh! <laughs> get out of the way there, Sandipede. Uh, oh yeah, and then I keep getting, oh, there it is right there. I keep getting comments saying, hey, use the, uh, Snack Grappler. Yep. Snack Pod. Snack Grappler to get the, uh, the, the, the Snack Pods. I think we already got that one that was there. I don't know if there are any more Snack Pods around here. I know there's like a set amount of Snack Pods that are in like every area, but I guess maybe they're, they're like so hidden that you, oh, did we ever get the Lolliv here? Hold on, let me check the, uh, the Bugapedia. I don't remember if we got the lol up here in Flavor Falls. We did not, actually. Ooh. So that's going to be an easy one. There's the minion. I still don't know what that one is. And yeah, just the lol and the little minion guy. We'll check up on the little minion here in just a bit, but we should be able to get the lol Uh Some of you guys were saying use the uh, snack grappler for the lol. Ah, that didn't work. Oh, wait. Was it the snack grappler you guys said for me to use, or... Oh, yeah, you guys said to use a snack grappler on stuff like the uh, the Sweetie Flies, I believe. I guess we'll miss bust that as well whenever they're asleep. Because I guess whenever they're asleep, they're technically kind of, uh... There we go. They're kind of stunned, you know? So I guess uh, maybe that'd work. I definitely want to test that out and see how that does. But uh, let's try and get this... Lol, I've got it right there. Nice! Oh, no! You know what? You know what? Let's get the snack grappler. Whoops, that's the wrong thing. Boom! Wow, <laughs> Glad that I got that with the Snack Grappler so we could actually uh, stay up here now. Are there any more? Oh my gosh, you guys were right. Look at all those guys. Oh my gosh, there's like a thousand of them. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, what are these guys like though? Hold on. Uh, I want to see if I can catch like 15 of them. Loves. Oh, they love the trap. They're actually attracted to the trap. Whoa. Hold on. Uh, get out of that. There you go. Let's just uh, let's try and catch like 15 of them at once. Did I get them all? Double Trapper achievement! Whoa! Wee Wait, what? Wee what? What? Oh man! Uh oh, that didn't get him. Come on, come on, come on! The thing is that they're jumping on. Oh, I get like three right there. Wee Mowen. Wee Mowen. Let's see if I can get like all of them here, you guys. Wee Mowen. Wee Mowen. Uh, is there any? I, I've got a full inventory right now, but I, I could drop like the twisty snack pod. We don't need that anymore, you know. Oh, oh, there you go. There's another one right there. Where's the twisty snack pod on this? I, I doubt anyone wants those, right? So we can drop the twisty snack pod. Boom. Wee and we have two more wee melons here. I guess I'll keep them here. I guess they don't. Oh, wait, hold on. There's another twisty. So speaking of such, another twisty snack pod right there. So if I wanted to get one, boom, there's one right there for if anyone ever wants one. And I guess if I ever want any more meat wee melons. Wee melon. <laughs> oh my gosh, those things are so cute. If I ever want to get more of them, there's two more right there, so that's good. Uh, I don't know what we could do with the- I guess if anything, we could turn. Oh, hold on. Is that still blacked out? Yeah, it's still blacked out, though. What is that thing? This sticky glob is evidence of a bug snack. It only appears- Oh, when it rains! I need to come back specifically when it rains! Wait, how did my Bugapedia know about that? I didn't come across anything that- Oh, was it- No, those are like vegetable bits. Yeah, veggie bits. I don't know how my Bugapedia knows about that. Does it, does it know those things about other random blacked out or question mark? Uh, no, see, it didn't. I guess maybe I, I scanned the buggy or uh, the sticky bits or whatever it called it right there. And I, I guess put it in the Bugapedia. But, you know, I never actually saw the creature itself. So therefore, it's a little question mark, right? So either way, let's just head back to Snacksburg. And let's go, I guess, give these wee melons. Thank you guys, by the way. Thank you guys all very much. I never would have thought to go back there, check if the Wii... I thought they despawned after the boss battle, so thankfully you guys commented like <laughs> dozens of times, like over and over again, I saw it. So you guys don't have to worry about me like not seeing comments and stuff. But now that we actually have the Wii Melons, who are we going to use them on? Oh, you know what, Chandlo? Where's Chandlo at? There he is. Oh! Sup? But I kind of like how he looks right now, but like I kind of want to use at least one Wii... Remember, 
We just have to feed him like one thing, and then we can use the snack experiment thing to actually uh Whoa! Oh ew. Hold on. Let, let's smack let's smack set snacks spirit. What if we did the body? Oh ew, it's just like the meat of the watermelon there. Ew. Let's do let's go back to mama melon. There we go. That's that's kind of disgusting. <laughs> now what if I did we melon for that? Oh, it's just the seed? Ew. Do I like that better? Like, it kind of looks like ears. Like, the watermelon slices were kind of a, a funny meme. I don't know. Do I like the seeds sticking out of them better? Let me know in the comments down below what do you guys think. Was it stay on his thing, by the way? I don't know if I ever read his shirt. New Grump City? It looks like a basketball there, too. I guess it's like a new Grump City. Like, I never- I don't know what was on his hat. His, his hat's, like, long gone now, so. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, man! Yeah, we never saw what, like, his whole body looked like as, like, ma like Mama Melon. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh my gosh, his teeth- Ow! Oh, I oh my gosh, his teeth need to stay as melon teeth. <laughs> He's got, like, a headdress made out of watermelon, it looks like now. <laughs> I love that nose! Oh my gosh, him as full watermelon's hilarious! Intra let's give him back the entrap nose. What does it look like? A oh, ew, that is terrifying. No, 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 no. Go back to Mama Mel Melon. There you go. Can we do any Wee Melon stuff for- Oh, those are perfect biceps! Look at that! You can see, like, his deltoids and his bicep there. That- that- that works out pretty well! Hunnaby arms. There you go, like he's doing a fist, like he's- 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 he's, he's flexing his arms. Now what do we do for his, uh, yeah, like, uh, Sinistail, like, feet or something like that, I guess? There, that's kind of weird looking. I kind of want to keep his thighs as, like, uh, Mama Melon looking things. What was his head again? Oh yeah, the pe yeah, I like the pinkle thing though. That's kind of funny. <laughs> Literal jar of pickles on his head. That that I love the way Chandlo looks right now. That is awesome. Look at that. That is so cool. I need to be more creative like that with other characters to kind of like build up. <laughs> right as I say that, Phil walks in full chili pepper outfit or body. I guess you could say. Jeez, that looks ugly. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I need to be more creative with Philbo. Hold on. How's it going? Have we done... Oh, we've given him a lot of stuff, haven't we? No, yeah, we've only done like four things. Score pepper. I guess maybe we could keep the score pepper hair there. That'd be kind of funny. The body, the the, the ears or whatever. The, the nose, that's kind of stupid looking. What if we did all Wee Melon? Wee Melon. <laughs> oh, what if we did that uh, Wee Melon for all of him? Like, obviously, we can't do... Oh, ew. Ew, the... the... Oh, the legs, or the feet, and the, the arms are like, little melon, like, ball things with like, 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 seeds are like the nails. You guys see that? That's nasty. Ugh. Oh, his no- oh my gosh, his nose! Oh, what is that? I definitely need to keep his nose. Maybe his ears? What, 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 what meme could we do? Hold on, let's go to Rudel, Rudel Head. I love those little green things coming out of his head, that's, that's pretty funny. I like the little mustache we're getting with the, the, the wee melon nose there. That's cool. Anything fun with the shrabby? Like the, oh, the shrab, oh, the body of the shrab is just kind of, ugh, you know? Ah, oh, man, it's buddy. Oh, I did get some comments loving the spuddy horns or antlers or whatever. Maybe we can keep those. That's pretty cool. I need, I definitely need to do something about that body though. Let's get rid of that. So if, if we have the top of him as a carrot, we can have the body as the carrot. That's fine with me. Shrappy Wee Melon. You know what? Maybe I'll keep Wee Melon arms and legs and hands and, and feet. How does this look? Do I like this? Like, it, it's a good combination of like three different things right now. <laughs> I love that mustache so much. Oh my gosh. I kind of want to get, get. Should we go back to Chandler and give him a mustache? What's going on, dog? I don't think. I, I don't think so. Like, it's kind of unique to be on Philbo like that. That's funny. Uh, oh, hold on. Before we go back to Wiggle. Can I do a mission for you? Do I have to wait? Uh, yeah, I have to wait. Okay, well... I guess I have to wait a little while, and then we can do her, uh, another side quest for her. But let's do Wiggle's thing now. Hey there, Wiggle. Oh, Wiggle, 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 Wiggle. Let's talk. Let's do your, uh, feeling all right. Let's do your boss battle mission now, Wiggle. One last chance, darling. There's a massive bug snack out in the ocean. I've seen it riding the waves in the morning light. To be honest, I'm not even sure if it's real. But I must go after it. Please help me. I can't catch it alone. Oh man, that popcorn like hand of hers is so nasty looking. It's like a little claw. 
<laughs> All right, let's go. Fabulous. Let's jam. <laughs> All right, let's jam. Dance with the... Oh, what did it say right there? Dance with the something. I didn't see what that was. Just went away, like, immediately there. Dance with the dragon? We're pa we're catching like a dragon thing over here. What? My critic's all right, you know. I can't make the magic happen again. I've tried skydiving, crystal gorging, reverse exorcisms, everything. What? <laughs> Mug snacks are the only thing that have ever gotten me close to that state again. To that raw nirvana where the universe writes through me. I just haven't found it yet. But I will. I must. <sighs> Another empty venue. But if you're out there, you won't be able to resist my siren song. Oh, what the? <laughs> she teleported. Oh, please. Ancient Black Snack, can you hear me? Will you show yourself if you hear how much I need you? Will you show yourself if you hear my I don't think the bug sex can understand you. You can't solve every problem by singing. You know what? Maybe they just don't understand you there, Wiggle. Oh, don't give me that. Music is a universal language, darling. Come to me, come to me, my muse of the sea. My mouth is your destination, and Wiggle, here's your destiny. Oh my gosh! There you are, you delectable dragon! Come on, let's make some music! Oh my gosh, look at that thing! That thing is... That thing is huge! Mini Maki! They follow behind the head in perfect formation and panic without its leadership. This has got to be... Oh, what in the world ha- Oh! Oh! What in the world? Oh, like, all these, like, chopsticks over here? It's like crashing into those things. Hold on. Hold on. I don't want to... Man, I want to I wanna scan the... the Mega Maki? Is that what it said right there? Yep, Mega Maki. The head of the beast. It can't be caught until it's run out of followers. Okay. So we need to slowly defeat all the little mini Makis that are behind us. It's like a sushi roll. It's a heckin' sushi roll. Oh my gosh. This thing's crazy cool. It's like a dragon made out of sushi. <laughs> This thing's so cool. So how do we take it on, though? Any weaknesses or anything here? Any? What is it like? What is it weak to? Oh, those are the last two things that were over here. It doesn't say. Oh, look at the eyeball in the middle of the sushi roll there. 900,000 calories for just a head. Five, fifty, almost 6,000 for a little slice right there, though. Uh, flying, breakable, aggressive, meaty. Oh, this would have been a meaty and aggressive one we could do for Cromdo. Oh, there's, this is going to give me so many heckin'... Oh, I don't have that many spaces open. Oh, we're going to have to drop a lot of stuff once we actually kill these guys. Ooh. Man. Because I definitely want to get like a thousand of these and turn someone into like a nothing but a sushi roll. But how can we, uh... Let's get the trip shot out. This thing's pretty reliable. Especially because this thing was really good against the sandwich guy. The sub, uh, a sandipede. But hi. Well, oh, hold on. Yeah, on the chopsticks. On the chopsticks. Uh, aim. Perfect. Oh god, they're shooting at me. Uh-oh. Hold on, hold on. Between the- No! What? Oh my gosh, how do they know? Oh, it- Oh my gosh, it still worked. What in the world? Hold on, hold on, let me get- There, there we go. Oh no, no, I, I just don't have enough space. Mini Maki. Mini Maki. Mini Maki. Oh no, they're- 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 they're re-following him. Uh-oh. Uh, the fruity snack pot, I don't care. Boom, get get rid of you, garbage. I already saw no- Oh no! Oh, they're back! Man, oh, they're flying now! Oh my gosh, that's crazy. How many did I get right there? Can I- can, Oh, I, hold on, I could, I could drop some, uh, out of my backpack from here, I believe, right? What can I- Uh, we can get rid of the Mount Sodi, those will respawn. Uh, how do I- There we go. Release Mount Sodi. 
Uh, release that one too. Sodi D, get rid of that one. Score Pepper, you know what? I, I don't care too much. Or Scorpino, sure, get rid of that one. Uh, pretty much any. Ah, well. I don't want to. Olive, we can get rid of that one. Green Olive. I don't want to get rid of the little, little melon guys right now, though. Man, well, we did get a lot of open spots right there, though. Four more, so that's good. This guy's got a bit. Yeah, he's got like six, seven, eight spots right now. Oh, he keeps destroying these, though. Hold on, hold on. Right here, though. Hold on. If I do this, go up to there. No, no! How does he keep destroying that stuff? What? Hold on, can I do it from here, though? Go there. But he has to go all the way around. Oh, and he's attacking it again! No, no, wait, no. Oh, another snack pod fell right there. I'm not going to pick it up right now, though. Let's go, uh, all the way over here, then. Here you go, here you go. You know what, you know what? Uh, retrieve it. He's coming all the way around. I need to place it, like, right here, and then I'll shoot it. Like, right there. Perfect. That might be good. Is that, is that high enough? Is that going to get him? No, it's not! What?! No! Hold on, hold on. Uh, retrieve it again. Hold on, let's go all the way over here. No! We broke the tree. Go all the way over here. Place it down. There you go. Come on, come on, come on, come on! What?! Oh my gosh! How do I, how do I... I need to, like, go all the... Oh my god, whenever he's flying like this, it's so tough! Especially when I'm... Oh man, there's one right there, too. Man, they're all over the place. I need to get it back. Is this really the best way to get him, though? Uh... Oh, there you go. Oh, nice. There you go. But now I have to wait for him to all come all the way around like this. But that is a really good spot for him, though. Look at that. He crosses right through the middle there, so that's perfect. I just need him to come all the way around and hopefully not attack it. He's kind of looking like a roller coaster right now, to be quite honest. It's pretty funny. <laughs> okay, he's almost... He's coming around right now. Is that going to be good? Is he going to destroy it the last second or what? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. He crashed into it. Perfect. 20 seconds now to get all these uh, other... There we go. Another mini Maki right there. Perfect. Let me go get another one. Come on, come on, come on. Got it. Nice. Mini Maki. Mini Maki. And we can get to... Uh... Oh, man. Maybe one more. Come on. Wiggle. They're surrounding you. Eat them. Catch them and eat them. There's one. Now I just need to... Oh, man. It's just got three more slots, I think. Or three more uh, slices. Okay, hold on. Oh man, he's still attacking me. Okay, he got rid of that chopstick, unfortunately. Uh, let's see. Can I jump? Oh! Oh man, that didn't do it. Ooh, there you go. Nice. Let's do that. And where is that? Cross like there, maybe? Up there, perhaps? Is that good? He's going to come around and- Oh, that's a- That's gotta be good, but is it high enough? It looks like it's- It should be. We have only one open slot right now, unfortunately, though. But I think it might pause the game whenever, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Come on. Yes! Yes! We did it! Perfect! Alright, one's about to land, like, on top of us. Let's get him. No, no, put that away, put that away. Where's the other one at? Oh my gosh, they're, they're floating everywhere. Minimaki. Okay, yes. It does, uh, slow, okay. Get rid of the, the, the whatever that one is. <laughs> Lasodi. There you go. We have one more we need to get. Come on, come on. There's the head over there. Five seconds, can I get him in time? No, no, no! Oh, I got him, I got him! Oh, ew, did you guys hear that? Ew, ew! Rainbow sweep, I guess we can get rid of that. Just because I... There you go. Oh, is it because he's vulnerable now? Oh my gosh, look at him! Oh, look at him, he's so sad! Megamaki! And now we got him! You know what, maybe we'll get rid of the Stoodler. I think the Stoodler might be relatively easy to catch now that I think about it. Cause, especially because we know what to do with the trip shot and stuff like that, so... Just so I don't get rid of a Bombino, the la- Well, there are probably a few Bombinos in the desert now that I think about it. Mega... Maki... Meaty Snack Pod... Like, I feel like the- I think the Snack Pods are, like, limited, though, like, right? Or maybe they do respawn? If they do, then hey, you know what, maybe I'll get rid of, like, a... Nutty Snack Pod... Yeah, let's get rid of a Nutty Snack Pod. Yeah, sure. There you go. Get rid of that one. And then I also got some comments from you guys saying, Hey, can you myth bust? Mega Maki. Mega Maki. Can, can, can I feed a boss bug snack to someone who isn't the... If you leave now, you'll lose... Oh, no! I guess you can't. If I try and leave the area, go back to Snacksburg and feed it to someone else, 
it just abandons the quest and I'll lose my progress and I have to do it again. Okay, well, I guess that answers that. So, there you guys go. If you guys were wondering, hey, what happens if you try and feed, like, the Megamaki to, uh, to Philbo or whoever else? So, I guess the same thing would have happened to Cromdo. Same thing would have happened to uh, Chandlo for their boss battles, unfortunately. <sighs> Talk about bombing on stage. Still, not my most explosive performance. Come, darling. Let's get this show on the road. Let's get this show on the road. Let's go. Let's eat. I'm starting to, I'm starting to get the, the juices flowing in me, you guys. Let's get the Mega Maki going. Boom. Do I, have to, do I have to do something specific here or what? Oh, let's do the body. Should we do the body? Oh, she's going to look so disgusting if we do this. Oh, my gosh. She actually looks kind of cool. Nothing. My head is just full of snacks. Oh, I'm never going to be free of it. Free of what? Do the wiggle. It's such a vapid waste of a song. To think that will be my legacy. Why can't I make it happen one more time? Why can't the universe give me one more hit? Man, see, there it is again. No matter how- oh god, the Politos. Oh wait, hold on, did we have to catch this one? No, I don't think so, I think we already got that one. Yeah, the, the Polita- or uh, what, what do you call it? The one that was in the... Yeah, the, the Sugar Pine Woods or Forest or whatever it was called? That's the one that we have to catch in full before it like splits off, you know? That's the one, because we already get the Politos, whatever, the Bobsicle one. We already got the full one and the, the individual sticks. So, either way, uh, oh, you know what? Uh, should I just, like, feed everyone, like, a Mega Maki thing just so I could kind of have fun with them? I don't, I don't want to waste any inventory slots right now. It, oh, well, I can get, like, one bug snack. Are there any fruity snack pods around here? Right? I remember, oh, oh, okay, I, or a grumpy snack pod. I remember that one. We specifically got that one after I saw that weird thing in the background. It does look like they do respawn back in. So that's good. The, the grumpy snack pod right there. I guess we can get that one. Give it the Befica. Right at the bat. There you go. Boom. Snack pod. Snack pod. We probably have to give her. We, we probably have to return it to her once we actually have three. And not just like one at a time every time we actually get them, you know? So, yeah, that kind of sucks. But I, I kind of want to. Let's go back to Wiggle. Let, let's go do some snack experiments on her. See what she looks like as a full on. Oh, uh, looks like Gramble's going to talk to Wiggle. Did you do it? Did you write your magnum opus? <sighs> Sorry, dear. It's never going to happen. Well, don't be so down, Wiggle. Maybe you're overthinking it. Why don't you just write from the heart? From the heart? Oh, Gramble, you sweet summer child. That's what I did before I was a star. I'll never make platinum that way. <laughs> Why does that matter? You're already rich and famous. Because I need an audience. And I've seen time and time again that when I write for myself, nobody else wants to hear it. Well, I want to hear it. That's a nice sentiment, darling. Yeah, we're your audience, Wiggle. You don't have to have, like, millions of fans or anything like that. You can just have one fan and you still have an audience, right? And, oh, uh, oh, I thought Floofy wanted something, but I guess not. Just <laughs> randomly just standing in the middle of the campfire. It's not even lit, just staring off into the... Oh! You again. Felt like I got, like, magnetized into the fire right there. I was going crazy. Uh, oh, do we want to... You know what? Let's give you a, uh, a mini... Mi yeah, mini Maki. Mini <clears throat> Mini Maki. What does a nose look like? A, just a, a random sushi slice of a uh, of a roll there, just randomly on the nose. What do we just? Oh yeah, it was like an egg nose previously. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm just. Oh yeah, I have to scroll here because I gave Floofy so many I can things already. Uh, what was it? The noodler nose? Yeah, it was. I guess we'll keep the hard boiled egg, or is it soft boiled? Oh my gosh, Gramble. I'm not gonna touch. Gra you know what? Can uh, can I snack experiment him? Sweetie Fly. Yeah, we, we gave him a bunch of Sweetie Flies and stuff. For, I remember that. Cheapoof and Shurito. Like, he kind of looks like a Mickey Mouse right now. Oh, oh man, that looks so horrifying. Oh, jeez. Just a random Enchirito, like, ears and nose and stuff. Like, that looks worse. Ugh. Let's go back. <laughs> what about Cheapoof? Cheapoofs are cute and stuff. 
You know what? The, uh, he looks a little bit more normal with those like cheap hoof ears and and I literally called it like Dorito ears or something like that on Wiggle and it actually is. It's like little chip ears and like a mohawk there. You know what? If anything, that cheap hoof nose looks kind of ridiculous. Everything else kind of fits him, I guess. Is there a better nose? Eggler nose? <laughs> the egg on the face nose. Oh, flapjack or egg. Uh, wild snaggerack. What does the sweetie fly stuff look like for arms? Oh yeah, they're like the stick things. Well, I guess we could have it as like the the, the arm and then the leg part, but like not the hand part. You know, we we can keep that as like cheat. Uh, not cheeser, right? Yeah, cheat. That looks stupid. Let's go back to cheat, cheat, cheat. Poof. There you go. Do I still want to have the egg on the face? What was the entry? Oh yeah, the, that the end of the burrito thing, the butt of the burrito. <laughs> what's the what's the sweetie fly nose look like? Oh, it's like a little lollipop or something. Oh, you know what? I'll give him the heart on the face because he's he's full of love. So there you go. That looks pretty good. You know what? It, it, we could actually give him a lovely sweetie fly arms and stuff to kind of match his uh, nose. So there you go. How's he look now? I'm like, he looks... At least he doesn't look like a clown anymore with the Mickey Mouse meme going on, you know? You know what? Let's wake him up, too. Wake him up. Ah, oh, not again! <sighs> Should tie myself down. Oh, man, we missed his teeth. Change. Oh, I... I can still change stuff on him while he's awake, though, so that's, that's pretty good. It might make it a little bit easier for us to turn, uh... What in the world? Are his teeth, like... What are his teeth right now? What'd I do right there? I'm like, they look kind of normal. Like, I can't even tell what I did. Are they, like, the sticks of the Sweetie Fly or something? I think so. Looks relatively normal, to be quite honest. But I don't know if we want to give anyone else, uh, some of these Mega Miki things to kind of clear up some inventory space, you know? I wish we could actually- oh, you know what? Let's donate some. There you go. Let's, let's donate at least- There you go. And then the wee melon. There you go. Oh my god, look at the wee melon! Wee melon! Wee melon! And then the grumpy snack pod. Oh, we need that for Bevica. I wonder if she's going to come over here and steal that thing. And then the white shrabby. Does that sound the same as a regular shrabby? I forget if- because uh, it was like at the beginning of the series when we got that thing. I almost got it right there. Strabby! Huh. I could I could use some work. <laughs> I know I keep getting comments from guys saying you love my little little bug snacks impressions every time we catch one. That's pretty fun though. I like doing them. Let's go back to bed though. It's like one almost two a.m. right now. Let's go to noon. There we go. I kind of want to go see. Oh yeah. Oh, you know what? We might if we do another uh, shelter thing, we might be able to donate more bug snacks to her, and then she'll like release them and stuff like she does. And then that'll clean out some more inventory space. I forget how many, how many, uh, grumpy snack pods that we need for Befica. I know we need, like, a few. How many? Only three. Oh, we could do that, like, right now, basically. Yeah, we have four, uh, we, we have room for four of them. We have one in our inventory right now, three open slots. Let's talk yeah. to Shelda anyways. Speaking of Befica, oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, she looks so nasty. What happened to the box? See you soon. Oh! You guys! Look, look at her foot! She ate the- she ate the Bombino! She ate the Bombino! What happened with the box? So it is! The toxins are no more! Cause you ate them! Did you eat the bug snacks? Yeah, you ate those bug snacks! <gasps> One is pure! One would never be tempted by such poison! This is why one sits in meditation every day for six hours, repeating the mantra. Don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks. And so it is, one never thinks about bug snacks. Well, how do you explain your foot there? Clearly, what's next? Wow, okay, does that work? <laughs> Yeah, well, I doubt that'd work. If you're if you're literally saying don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks, don't think about bug snacks for like six hours straight or whatever, you're kind of thinking about bug snacks, to be quite honest. <laughs> like, it definitely sounds like you are. Yeah, does that even work? Ever the sun rises, ever are more toxins left to be purified. In dreams each night, one sees inch wraps, cheeses, and peel bugs. This vision must be the will of the mother. So it is. You must bring them to the box of purity. <laughs> so she's, she wants me to 
purify an entrap, a cheeser, a green peel bug. We know how to get all those, by the way. Uh, I don't think we have any in our inventory right now, though. Unfortunately, yeah, I don't think we have any right now. But I, I know where to get the entrap. That's in Flavor Falls, I think, right? Yeah, the entrap. That's the lettuce wrap thing. The cheeser that's in the sizzling sands. I think that was called. And then the green peel bug. Oh, ah, actually, I don't know. I don't because there's so many different colored peel bugs. I forget where the green one is. I have to look at the Bugopedia for that. But I was under the impression she was gonna like. She said it, it, like release the toxins or whatever. I thought she was gonna release them into the wild, but no. She's just putting the toxins into her own body to, to turn her bug or her, her foot into a heckin' yum. bombino down there. And you're supposed to be saying don't think about yum. bug snacks, not yum, yum, yum. <laughs> I wonder if I could put, like, anything. What about a mini market? What if I put that in there? It, it, like, if I come back later, is she going to have, like, a sushi roll arm or something like that? <laughs> Everything good? Oh, yeah, let's feed some more people some uh, mini maki stuff just randomly. Sure is a nice oh, day, isn't it? Uh, feed. Oh man, this is probably going to be his body if I do that, right? Minima. Uh, no. What is miss? Oh yeah, his legs. What does a leg going to look like? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, just like four segments right there. That's crazy. Okay, let's just feed. Who else? Bromdo? Sure. Have a yeah. mini maki. Oh my gosh, he looks so ridiculous. <laughs> what is it? What? 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 Mini. What does his body look like if I do the mini maki on that? Oh yeah, we already saw that on Wiggle. Oh, by the way, uh, I got. I got. I think just one comment from someone saying, hey, you should do this to wiggle. I, I definitely want to myth bust it. What did I just have for him right there? Oh, yeah, Politas Grande for body. There you go. We can go back to that. Let's go back to wiggle. I want to go uh, snack experiment on her and turn her whole body into heckin' pop tick and see what that looks like. Hello, darling. Hey there, how are you doing? And then after that, we can turn her whole body into a mini maki or whatever. So uh, we'll do. Oh, I wonder if. Because there was a difference between the me wee melon and the mama melon on Chandlo. The mini maki they and the 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 big mini maki thing, the mega maki, they they're literally one and the same, like cut from the same sushi roll. So would they actually be different if I gave her a mini maki right now, mini gave it to her body? <laughs> oh, it is a little bit different. Yeah, the mega maki gave her like an orange belly there though. Ooh. Hold on, let's feed her again. Let's go to the snack experiment. I want to turn her whole body into a pop tick, just to see how nasty that would look. Oh, what in the world? Her body, her actual body is like a corn kernel, and so her ears, her ears actually looks kind of cool as corn kernels, though. A corn kernel nose! Oh, that <laughs> and then the top of her head is also like a, a popped corn there. What does that look like 3D, though? That looks so horrifying! <laughs> she looks like she's like exploding or something. Oh, like she kind of is if her, uh, her arms and legs are like popped corns and her body, nose, ears are all like unpopped corn, right? <laughs> All right, let's give her mini maki. Oh wait, yeah, we already did that. Oh whoop! Ah, oh, I forgot. Yeah, whenever you click on it, it's already like too late, right? Wow. There you go. We can snack experiment. What if we snack experiment her whole bot? Oh pine. What does the rest of her body look like? It's oh ew. Oh. Oh my gosh. That is terrible. Oh. Oh. Ow! That is horrible. That is like a, an actual monster. Look at her legs and feet. Her, her toes are like uh, pineapple leaves. Ugh. Look at that! Oh my gosh! That is terrible! I'm so sorry! <laughs> Jeez! White cheap poof? Is that gonna look somewhat normal? Because it looked normal on Gramble. Yeah, look at that. It looks kind of normal. Oh, the <laughs> cheap poof nose. I forgot that, that it was that. Yeah, see, she already had like one horn or something like that. That was a cheap poof uh, horn or whatever, right? What does the teeth look like as cheap? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? A cheap poof mixed with white cheap poof would actually kind of mix together pretty well, you know? Because they're like the same things, just kind of colored differently. Let's see. Wait, what was she before, though? I don't know if I want to have. She had sandipede stuff. Sub sandipede. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's turn her whole body into Mega Maki. Oh, yeah. See, we already saw the, uh, the sushi. Like, I think it was on the leg on uh, Wambo. Yeah, it, it looks the same there as the uh, Mini Maki. Oh, what in the world is like fit, like uh, shrimp tails there? Oh my gosh! Is everything? Yeah, I think everything. And her teeth just turned into like rice uh, kernels, rice grains. I don't know what an individual rice thing is called, but uh, there you go. Oh my gosh! That is horrible. That is horrible, Wiggle. Oh man. Jeez, you know what? I kind of liked you with the uh, 
the pineapple hair. That was pretty fun. That actually kind of fit you, too. Grape ski- oh gosh, what if I did a grape skeeto body? What? Eh? Oh, ew, ew. Oh, a grape ski- it's like shriveled up for the nose. Ew. That's kind of- oh my gosh! A giant grape on her head! I don't know what's more ridiculous. Is it because it's- it, it's Wiggle and Wiggle's like the tallest per- well, Wambo might be, uh, relatively similar in terms of height. What did we do for her before? Oh yeah, Pinantula hair. If we do t yeah, let's not do horns for Pinantula there. So, oh yeah, it's probably going to be like the tad, the pole tab, or whatever we do the, the horns there. What would make a good horn, though? Oh yeah, the grape skeeto. Wasn't that, uh... I guess it kind of looks like, like, strands of hair or something like that there, so pff, sure, why not? What is a good arm, though? Like, maybe Chipoof arms or something? Because at least she kind of has, a, like, claws and stuff. She can play her banjo, so there you go. Uh, maybe I'll give her, like, one... One orange and one white, so there you go. What is a good body for her, though? Sandopi? What did that look like? Oh, yeah, that. Nah, I don't, I'm not crazy about that. You know what? Let's go back to Namegamaki with the orange belly there. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Tark Roach. What, what about teeth? Poptic teeth? You know what? Let's do, like, a uh, Minimaki teeth, because that gave it, like, rice sand... Uh, rice... Grains? <laughs> Whatever it was. <laughs> oh, what, what is a good nose? Egg on her face nose. That actually, that actually looks fit... Yeah, that fits really well! Because her lips protrude through the egg. So it looks like all her nose is just a white or a yellow circle there. That's actually, that's actually a pretty good one right there, you guys. I like that. Is there anything else here that's good? Like the legs of the... the that looks kind of stupid. <laughs> What's the Sodi D leg look? Oh! Oh yeah, I forgot she had a nose that was like a Sodi D nose or something, but... That looks so ridiculous with like actual cans of soda for thighs. Let's go to... Yeah, she already had like centipede like thighs last time, right? So there you go. Do we want to keep the straw feet though? <laughs> <laughs> it looks so strange. Lolliv? What was the Lolliv stuff? Oh, ew. What is that? Oh, those are like toothpicks or whatever uh, that hold the Lolliv. It kind of looks like a matchstick now. <laughs> like if that was inverted, where we had the uh, the the stick thing at the bottom, then yeah, that that would actually look a little bit better. But what about cheese or what does that look like? Ugh. You know what? That kind of fits her because she was like kind of skinny and tall, you know. So there you go. Now, we're, we're spending a lot of time customizing Wiggle there, but we just finished her boss battle, so it makes sense. I like the mixture we did there. If anything, maybe I'll give her a... Uh, eh, you know what? It, we, we'll, we'll keep it. You know what? Maybe she has, like, a Michael Jackson glove or whatever for her left hand. That's why it's white there with a white cheap poof. I'm... How's it going? I'm kind of indifferent about the current Philbo. Let me know in the comments. What do you guys think? I love the... I love the... Ooh, what's shaking, baby? He was about to go a wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I love the, the, the mustache thing right there. I'm not too crazy about his arms and legs, though. What if we did a Rudel, like, for the top of the arm and top of the leg there? I like that a little bit better, honestly. Like, his hands and feet can stay as the wee melon there with the claws. I like that. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. A wiggle, 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 wiggle. <laughs> I love that, you guys. Oh, my gosh. Literally just stared at the, uh, the how long you've been recording thing right there. 44 minutes right now. Probably, like, I don't know, 43, 42, once I cut out some random trash, but still. I, I said last episode I wanted to 30 to 40 minutes. I'm already over the 40 minute mark right now. I thought we were going to have time. Oh, yeah, yeah, we still need to do the stuff for, uh, whatever, Shelda. And, uh, also need to get the grumpy snack pods for, uh, for, for Pethika. I guess we've got to push that the next episode, you guys, because, golly, does time fly when you're having fun with this game, like I keep saying. So, I guess we'll have to end off the episode right here. We'll carry on next episode, and maybe even next episode, we'll go back up to the Frosted Peak. Was that what it was? Fro yeah, Frosted Peak. We'll go back up there, try and catch some bug snacks, because we're, we're still- Oh, yeah, I- Oh, yeah, when we're in Boiling Bay. Yep, Boiling Bay. I know we're missing out on a, a pretty good amount of bug snacks. I We were there for the mission for uh, Wiggle, and I forgot to stay there a little while. Get the purple grape skeeter, get the green eye crapple, get the flaming hot cheap hoof. And yeah, that would have been everything there, because we got the two other things that were like mystery there. We got those because that was a part of the boss battle. Man! Alright, we can probably do that next episode as well, but until then, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button, and be sure to click that bell to turn on notifications so you don't miss an episode 
because next time we come back with some more bug snacks, we still have a lot more ahead of us with the shell to side quest to get the grumpy snack pods for Befica, catch a couple bug snacks over in Boiling Bay, as well as catching some bug snacks over in Frosted Peak so we could do the Eggabell mission up there. So yeah, there's still a lot ahead of us right now, you guys. Probably a couple more episodes of bug snacks until we actually beat it. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more bug snacks. Oh, bye there. Oh.